tell you, I wanted to shout when I seen this message. I cannot confirm the statistics, but I will let you know personally for me as a woman, I had poor choices in men when I was younger. I only chose to date the men that every woman wanted. Whether it may be because he had swag, he looked cool, he dressed nice, he looked nice, he smelled nice, everything that was superficial. Not understanding that if all women want him, then I'm going to have some competition. And there's a high possibility that I'm going to get cheated on. Now, when I spoke about my brother, who is not a cheater, when I was younger, I would have never dated a guy like him. Because I, I would have looked at him as lame or boring or too religious, too godly. Not understanding that he just had integrity, self-control, and great character. But it really showed how poor my decision-making skills were when it came to dealing with men. So my only tip for ladies is to be open-minded so you can choose somebody that you need and not who you want. So, very interesting video. I think it's very noble of the young lady to actually speak on that. She doesn't look like she's too much in age. Looks like she may be in her late 20s, maybe early 30s. But she's speaking on a reality that happens all the time. What was the number? Was it 10 to 20 percent? I believe is what she was saying. And women tend to when it comes to cheating, I'm not necessarily saying that these that 10 to 20 percent are all cheaters. But if you're going after the same women that all the other women are going after and you're trying to compete, then, yeah, there's a likelihood that you're going to encounter some cheaters in terms of that. That's dealing with multiple women as opposed to the other uh 80 80 percent of guys that are available that may be wanting to treat you right and things like that but what i learned about women and what you guys know about women and the ladies who are even watching this women tend to have a herd mentality whenever it comes to anything whether it be men whether it be fashion whether it be basically anything that they feel has value there's a herd mentality involved so all it takes is for a few, one, two, three, a few women to start off saying that this is attractive, this has value. And all other women will actually go out and think it's almost like a brainwashing effect. Like you will think that this, you will think that this person's attractive. He is attractive or whatever. And it's just like, it's, it, it goes, that, that goes down to celebrities, rappers, whoever, they can say, one person can say that this celebrity is gorgeous or whatever, or attractive. And all of a sudden, all women are attracted to this guy. Basically, right out the blue. You know what I'm saying? Or this guy is cool. And they set the market in terms of that, of what they find attractive in, in terms of that. You ever, you ever hear that? You, you hear women talk and they'll, they'll mention certain things about guys. And you're like, okay, well, okay, that's what you like now? Okay, now you like this type of guy? Okay, you went from liking this guy to this guy? These are two two different types of guys, but you still but you like them though. All because and all of them tend to think that this guy is attractive. So it happens, and I'm glad she mentioned something about her brother. She said that I would never have dated a guy like my brother because maybe he's too godly. He's found as corny. You got a lot of brothers who are involved in tech that many women look past because they say that he's corny. He's a nerd. He's not gangster enough. He doesn't have enough swag at the end of the day and they get looked over. So this percentage, that 10 to 20 percent or as Corey Wayne would say, you have what's called a three percent man, which basically and some of y'all would that I hate using that term alpha. But the three percent man, which basically states that 97 percent of men don't know what they're doing when it comes to women. Women are basically used to dealing with that 3% man who basically knows how to talk to a woman, knows how to treat a woman, um, basically has a natural je ne sais quoi about him. And some guys have to learn this. Everybody's not born with it. Some guys are born with it. But for her to give, to put up these percentages, I think it says a lot. It's very interesting. But the thing is, a lot of guys, especially on the far right side, they try to manipulate a woman into thinking what she should be attracted to. You can't tell a woman what it what it is that she should be attracted to. Women are just wired to be that way, whether it's another woman telling her what she should be attracted to or the market telling her what she should be attracted to. A woman is just wired that way. And I think she ended off with the video by saying that you should basically 
be attracted to someone or go for someone that's good for you. Not not one that's basically the most attractive one. Hey, once again, that sounds good, but women are basically going to go with a lot of times. And some women do as they get or get, they get lucky or some women do have are brought up in a way to say, hey, choose this guy for security, regardless of swag, looks and things like that. But I want you fellas to not get caught up in these numbers and just realize the whole thing. Do your thing, man. Be you. Don't have don't change for a woman or what society or social media is telling you you should be or look like. Do what genuinely makes you happy and you're going to attract the type of woman you want. Being being in shape is just a common thing. Right. We can't just say, OK, you're getting in shape for women. You should get you should get in shape just to be healthy, just to be stronger, just to just to overall better yourself in terms of your body working mechanically and doing all the right things. So as you get up in age, you won't have certain issues that a lot of guys suffer with. So that's just one thing. Get your coins up, which is a no brainer. And just carry yourself like you're like you're that guy, like you're that king. I know I know y'all hate when I use that word, but carry yourself like you're that king. That's all I have to say, man. But don't let these stats get to you. Just be the best version of yourself, man. So that's that's my thoughts on it, man. Peace be upon you all. The mercy and blessings of the almighty. Make sure you guys like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit me up on Calendly. Pick yourself up a T-shirt from my Teespring um, store below. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys soon. I'm out. Peace. Honey, when I tell you I wanted to shout when I seen this message, I cannot confirm the statistics, but I will let you know personally for me as a woman, I had poor choices in men when I was younger. I only chose to date the men that every woman wanted, whether it may be because he had swag, he looked cool, he dressed nice, he looked nice, he smelled nice, everything that was superficial. Not understanding that if all women want him, then I'm going to have some competition and there's a high possibility that I'm going to get cheated on. Now, when I spoke about my brother, who is not a cheater, when I was younger, I would have never dated a guy like him because I, I would have looked at him as lame or boring or too religious, too godly, not understanding that he just had integrity, self-control and great character. But it really showed how poor my decision making skills were when it came to dealing with me. So my only tip for ladies is to be open minded so you can choose somebody that you need and not who you want. OK, you're getting in shape for women. You should get you should get in shape just to be healthy, just to be stronger, just to just to overall. It's God's beat maker. I put the light in the sky for the G's that done turn memory from God. Blessings we send to the ghetto, you them.